What's going on everybody, it's your boy JT and welcome back to another episode of South Stand Stories And it was going to be a South Stand Sidings, but listen, unfortunately things have got a little bit dry in terms of transfer news And I was going today, I was looking through the news, there were some things about Nico Williams potentially joining There wasn't a whole lot to talk about, but what is there that is very big for us to talk about? What is there that is very, very big? news it is of course Leeds's game against Cardiff tomorrow a huge mouth-watering game and a game I am particularly scared of why am I scared of why should I be scared of Cardiff because Cardiff in the history of my lifetime always 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 just seems to be a bogey team for Leeds especially when we go over to their ground I remember even under Bielsa when we were in the championship, we were high-flying, we were smacking everyone up, we go there 3-0 up, I believe it was at half-time, 3-0 up, and they came back and drew 3-3, it's just a really bad game for Leeds, um, and a game we always seem to flounder in, now, do I think we will tomorrow, no, I think this is a, a rejuvenated, revitalised Leeds team, I think the transfer window, although it hasn't gone too well, is still, you know, given brighter prospects to people you know both the fans and and the board and the club as a whole because there's there's a real feeling that we are gonna tighten up on key areas although i do believe we do have to start really cranking that change into gear but there is a real positive feel around the club right now i believe and listen i don't see why we can't catch southampton and you see the key word there is Southampton. Ipswich seven points ahead. Southampton four points ahead. I believe Ipswich are really, really going to be in a bit of a tailspin over these next couple of months. I don't see them finishing in the automatic position. And I see it being between Leeds and Southampton to get that final spot. And for me, it is there for the taking for Leeds. Um, and I think we could start off with a strong, strong performance tomorrow against Cardiff. We saw it in the Cup. Professional job against Peterborough. Did we light anyone up? No. Did we blow anyone away? No, but we got the job done. And against Cardiff, I believe it will be more of the same. I don't think it's going to be the most miraculous performance out of a lead side that you've ever seen in your life. But I do believe that it is going to be a convincing, comfortable, coherent victory. And I think the key to that is going to be Patrick Bamford. Listen. I've been saying it since day one on this channel. Anyone that's been here, I'm like Jay Uso. I've been here since day one screaming from the rooftops that Patrick Bamford needs to be starting in this Leeds United side. He is one of the most underrated players in the championship. He is one of the most underrated players at Leeds United. And he is a man who just masters the system beautifully that Fark wants to play and unfortunately for Joel Perot he doesn't quite fit into that system he doesn't quite play that way it doesn't quite mold that way so unfortunately for him it doesn't quite work and I just think we look so much better and I'm really intrigued to see another game where Bamford starts the game up front and I want to see what Leeds can do I want to see Bamford start the game with a rutter in the 10 with Somerville out on the wing with Dan James out on the other wing. And I just want to see what the team's made of. What we can do. And I believe a lot of people will be surprised. A lot of people are sat there thinking it's just a fluke. It's just, you know, a couple of decent performances from, from old PB9. No. I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to be surprised at just how much better and how much more coherent we are. Against a side who are going to look to basically shut us out from the get-go we're going up against a side who are looking to completely null and void the game completely just sit back park the bus try and make it a gritty doggy dirty affair for Leeds. but a side that i believe are going to come unstuck because when you've got an actual number nine up there someone who's pulling defenders out of position someone who's causing them a nightmare someone who's causing the mayhem from minute one that is when you're going to see the magic happen. That is when you're going to see them suddenly find gaps to exploit at the back of that Cardiff defence. And that is when you're going to see Leeds start to put together what we've wanted them to put together all season. But we just haven't had the right personnel in key areas to do so. Is our personnel perfect? No. We still need a left back. We still need a couple of right backs in my opinion. We still need a backup number nine just in case Patrick Bamford gets injured. 
because let's be real here, Patrick Bamford has had a lot of injury problems, not just other seasons, but this season as well, and we're all happy, we're all starting to get on the Patrick Bamford hype, you know, bandwagon, but if he gets injured, then we're back to square one, so I do still believe we do need another number nine, at least as backup, I would potentially take another winger as well, and I would also go for, I think I would go for a central midfielder as well, I think we need four or five signings listen realistically we get two or three having said that we've let two players go so realistically we should be bringing in at least four players in my opinion two to replace the two right backs that went one left back we need a backup number nine and potentially another midfielder i think four or five signings but listen we've got this deep into the transfer window we haven't made a single signing yet so we'll just have to count our lucky stars with that one but Listen, I think tomorrow it's going to be a comfortable victory. I think Patrick Bamford is going to be the key to that. I think you're going to see some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful swashbuckling football out of Jorginho Rutter. I think Somerville is going to get himself back on the score sheet again, carry on his rich vein of goal-scoring form, um, and hopefully, you know, keep himself out of the shop window with, with that kind of goal. Um, and if Nonto gets a crack, as it is the January transfer window, I think he might get a bit of a crack, whether it's 30 minutes or so. I think he might get a decent amount of game time, and I think he actually really will perform. I think this might be the game. In fact, I'm not even going to sit on the fence and say, might. this is going to be the game Nonto finally scores. You heard it here first. Wilfred Nonto is going to score for Leeds tomorrow. It's written in the stars, mate. It is just written in the stars. Uh, but let me know what you guys think anyway. How do you guys feel about this game coming up? How do you feel about Cardiff? Do you think Leeds will perform adequately? Do you think we'll get the job done? Do you think it'll be a masterful performance? Or do you think Cardiff will have enough to shut us out for the 90 minutes? Please let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. For now, guys, I will see you tomorrow where we're going to be streaming the game. 3 p.m. kickoff. We're going to be there nice and early. So make sure you are there. Be there or be square, my brothers.